I'm Jane. We're also known as Camp Lovesick. Today we're going to be showing you how we made a shiplap wall and this faux barn beam that covers up a pipe. Let's do it. It is time to finally tackle this wall. We took this wall apart when we were repairing some of the old slightly rotted wood. It wasn't actually in that bad of condition, but we want to make sure that the camper that we sell isn't just in not that bad condition, it's actually in great condition. So in order to put shiplap on these walls, of course the very first thing you have to do is have a wall. So we're gonna fix these walls and then we'll come back and show you how to put shiplap up. To make our shiplap walls, we're using a four by eight sheet of quarter inch hardboard. We're using our circular saw to rip these down into chunks that are divisible by six because in the end we want to use our table saw to rip these down into six inch planks. The reason why we're using hardboard for our shiplap instead of other wood from the hardware store that is already tongue and groove is because it's super lightweight, which is good for the camper, and it's quite inexpensive. So now that we have our six inch strips cut, what we're doing is tracing out how long the boards need to go. What we're doing is also accommodating for the beveled corners that we're going to be making so that this side, this side, and this side now we have our line, so let's cut. So now that we have our first board attached with the brad nailer, we are deciding how big we want the gap. So a good thing to do instead of just eyeballing it is using spacers. If you get three nickels, then you can use those as spacers to make sure that every board is spaced out the exact same amount. We're painting in between the cracks as we go up. The worry is that if you focus too much after and you just try to paint all this after, you might start clogging up the cracks with paint. So instead, as you go, paint the top and bottoms of your boards. And this way, once you actually finish, you don't have to worry so much about getting that much paint in the cracks as your crack will already be white. The hardest part about this entire project is finding where you put your nickels. So now that we have it all done up to there, all we have left to do is just measure out how wide we need to rip down this board to, rip it down on the table saw, install it, and we're done. So we have our boards on this wall and on the side all put up. And now Jane is just going over all of the brad nail holes with spackling so that we don't see them once we paint them. So we aren't particularly fans of this uh, industrial gross look that is going on here. So what we are going to do is actually build a faux barn beam out of two by fours to cover it up. So as you can see, we've ripped two by fours in half just because we don't need to be carrying that extra weight. It's not necessary. And what we're going to do instead of just putting this on top is we're gonna bevel these edges at 45 degree angles. There we go, our three pieces are beveled and now we can put our faux barn beam together. Blew up the corners, brad nailed them together, and then we'll have our beam. Our favorite part, we get to stain our masterpiece. the baddies at bay. Thanks so much for watching. I think it turned out super well. Yeah, I'm super happy. And painting these shiplap boards made us so excited. We're gonna paint it all. Next week is paint week, it's finally here. We can't wait, it's gonna transform the camper to finally get rid of this Dixie Cup wallpaper. See you then. See you then.